Today we're gonna to be talking about different press releases that wide receivers can use for each route on the route tree. Now this first release is going to be for a fade route. How this video is gonna go is we're gonna give a press release for each individual route on the route tree that I like to use that I feel could get you guys separation. And then we're gonna show a full speed example of each of these releases. So this first release is when you have to run a fade route versus inside shade press coverage. The white cone is representing the DB, the red cone is representing my line of scrimmage. So this is gonna be a hezzy skip and go release. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your back foot and you're going to kick as quick as you can behind your front foot. They call that a kick step. A lot of people will say that's a false step. It's not a false step, it's a part of the release. But it has to be fast. If it's slow, then your release is gonna be slow. We have to be patient with our feet, but we gotta be sudden with my movements. So we come off here, we kick, then the next step is a skip. And when you skip, you are going on a 45 degree angle. So the goal of this is to make that DB think that you were trying to slow play him outside, give him a move and cut back in. So when a DB sees you do that, that he can sit, be patient, hold his leverage, and then we could take him on that fade route. So again, we kick behind, we skip, and then we take off and go. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, coach, what if that DB jumps as soon as you do that skip? What you could do is put the brakes on, slip back to the inside, and take the inside release. The great part about that skip, it's an easy release to be able to react on and gather info on the DB. So we're gonna show you how this should look full speed. Now this next release is going to be for a slant route and is going to build off of that hezzy skip release that we just did on our fade. A lot of times guys, when you have to run a slant versus inside shade press, the best way to get separation is to make that DB think you're obviously running a fade. You wanna attack his outside shoulder and outside hip for three hard steps, make him think that you're going vertical and then you put the brakes on and slip under him. Now a patient DB may not bite on that because that's not how you would run your fade. You can't just come off the ball and just take off and run because that's not how you would run that fade. You gotta run your slant exactly like how you would run your fade for the first at least three steps. So what you can do is guys, this guy's inside shade press. Remember, I'm not just gonna force the inside release versus inside shade press. He won't let me do that. His job is to protect the inside. So we have to threaten him outside. So we come off the ball. It's the same kick. It's the same skip. One, two, three, put the brakes on and then slip back underneath him. And we're making it look like we are running a fade with the angle I take, the three hard steps and the skip at the top. So we're gonna show you how this thing should look full speed. Now also fellas, before before we show that full speed example, if you're a receiver and you would like a daily workout schedule that you guys can follow for two months, check out that very first link in the description below for our elite wide receiver training package. Guys, it's eight weeks of daily gym workouts and on-field drill workouts specifically for wide receivers. We break it down rep by rep. You're doing this many reps for this exercise. We give a video example of the exercise and we also include a four week speed development workout plan that you guys can do to get faster. So guys, if you want our elite wide receiver training package, again, very first link in that description below. Let's get back to this video. So now this next release is gonna be for a 10 yard dig or like a 10 to 12 yard post versus inside shade press. So as we know, when we were just talking about that slant, you guys, if I have inside shade press, his goal is to not let me get to the inside. One of the main mistakes that a lot of receivers make is that they'll come up, they'll line up, they see inside shade press, they know they have to run an inside route like a post or a dig and they kind of panic, they try to force it and all that DB is gonna do guys is keep his leverage, get hands, get hands. Then when you break to your post, you're gonna be all the way on the damn other side of the field. And we can't do that, we have to maintain spacing because you're gonna have other receivers inside and other defenders inside so what we want to do is take the outside release now I don't want to just take off and run because that's what this DB wants me to do he could get hands and squeeze me to the outside and it makes it tough for me to get separation we want to make him think that I'm trying to force that inside release to move him off his platform to give me space to the outside so this is gonna be a simple crossover release so it could start with that same kick step with your back foot it doesn't have to be a real big kick step but if you kick you want to step in the direction you're going first so in this case, we wanna to go to the outside, so we wanna step outside first. It's one, two, to threaten this DB's leverage, outside release, and our goal is to get skinny as possible with him, AKA squeeze past him hip to hip and stack him to where he is trailing behind you, and you give him a move at the top of the break, whether that's a dig or a post. So we're gonna give you a full speed example of this right now. <laughs> Now this next release, you guys, is gonna be for a 10 yard out or a like 10 to 12 yard corner route versus outside shade press coverage. So it's a lot like running that dig or that post versus inside shade press, but now it's just flipped. So this DB's outside leverage for a reason. He doesn't want me to get to the outside or run an outside breaking route. He wants to force me inside to where he has probably some type of safety help, linebacker help, a robber dropping back, whatever it is. So I obviously wanna make him think I'm going to the outside to move him. So I get that free inside release to work to stack him. So a release that I like for this is something called 
called a split jab release. So a split jab release is where you take your front foot and you move it out and you move your back foot straight up. Split release, both feet make contact with the grass at the same time. The goal is to freeze the DB, but also to get a read on the DB. So we split and then we jab to attack to the outside to move him and then we take that inside release. Now, also the reason why I like this is you don't have to do the split and just jab one time. You could split, that DB may start to inch back, try to keep some space, then you could go close the space and then go. The split helps us read this DB and react off of this DB. But I'm gonna show you how this release should look full speed. Now also, fellas, if you are a quarterback or wide receiver and you would like to train with myself and my staff of coaches this off season, we are coming out to 15 different cities across the country for two day long QB and wide receiver training camps. So if you guys would like to train with myself and my staff of coaches directly for two whole days, check out that second link in the description below. We're gonna be coming out to San Francisco, California, Orlando, Florida, Phoenix, Arizona, Charlotte, North Carolina. Then we're gonna be coming out to Austin, Texas, Las Vegas, Nevada, Seattle, Washington, Chicago, Illinois. Then we'll be heading out to Newark, New Jersey, Birmingham, Alabama, Houston, Texas, Boston, Massachusetts, Columbus, Ohio, Boise, Idaho, and Los Angeles, California. So guys, want some more information on that? Second link in that description below. Let's get back to this video. <laughs> Now this next release is going to be for a five yard out route when you have a DB who's lined up either slightly outside shade or right in front of us. And this release is going to be something called a dive release. So a dive release is the opposite of a diamond release. Remember that release we did on the slant where we did like kind of that like hezzy skip and then we went one, two, three. So it's essentially those three steps. A dive release is only two steps, but you're going at the DB's inside hip and inside shoulder trying to make him think that you are running a drag route where you just have to get in front of his face to get him to commit and then we could slip back to the outside. So again, guys, you're in your stance, set, go. You're almost gonna pivot off of this front foot. One, two, your hips, shoulders, head, speed, everything needs to be committed on that drag route to get that DB to bite. And then you slip back to the outside and run your out route. So we're gonna show you how this dive release should look full speed. 